What is up Aries? Welcome to your April reading. This is the third time I'm trying to start this video. For some reason, my do not disturb isn't working on the phone and I kept getting phone calls and it keeps interrupting your reading. It could be a month of interruptions, Aries. All right, it's general. Could be love, career, money, your neighbor, your job, your friends. We're gonna see what's up. Now, uh, down below in the description box and pinned in the comment section will be the link to the extended reading. We'll find out who's on your mind in love. What do they think of you? What do they want with you? And what can you expect? What are they up to that maybe you don't know? All right, Aries, let's see what April has in store for you. I'm gonna lay out all the cards, use mom's intuition. We're gonna go through it, clarify, and it'll all make sense, hopefully. Coming into the reading, what do we got? Temperance, major for Sagittarius. What's influencing temperance? Three of swords in reverse. What's on your mind, Aries? What's going through your thoughts in April? The Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What happened in the recent past? You've got the Magician, major for Gemini, Virgo. Why is everything happening in April? What's the main message here? You've got the Six of Pentacles. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I will say, since this is the third reading I'm doing on this, a lot of the same energy is coming through. So that's good. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The moon, Pisces, Cancer, energy. I've been fighting with my tripod as well. All right, in your environment, what's coming in that you don't see yet? You've got the Nine of Swords. Some of you are really um, having some anxiety, some worry going on. What's going on in your feels, your emotions, the Two of Pentacles. Feels like a month of really trying to find balance, right? And it could be on the financial side. You're moving money here, you're moving money there. I feel like a lot of y'all are saving for something too, right? You're trying to get your money better. What's the outcome? What do we got? The Three of Wands in reverse. And it's all happening because of the Six of Pentacles. Again, you know, talking about balance with your life. But again, it could be balance on the financial end as well. All right, let's see what's up. There's some worry. There's some worry. And again, it's, it really is matching the first three readings I did. Where, again, we were seeing in that, uh, the first spread I did, we were seeing a lot of energy of new love, somebody having emotion for you, but you really focusing on just life and stability and, you know, getting that money together. Some of y'all are saving for something to do this summer, I feel. Uh, all right, let's clarify this. What's going on for Aries? In April, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is up for Aries? It's all happening because of the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this is that equal give and take, right? And with those Pentacles, there's the stability, the money. So I feel like y'all are giving your time either to your job or a side business, and it's bringing in more money, but it's a lot, right? The Nine of Swords is coming in. That's external to you. And I feel like that's just some late nights. Maybe y'all are working late at night trying to accomplish things. All right, let's see what's up. So coming in, we've got temperance. Why is temperance coming in for Aries? Well, it's you saying hi to mom. Aries, queen of wands, whether you're male or female. That queen of wands is bossing up, right? She's taking action. You're, you're being very patient for something that you're trying to create here. You're really not focused on probably past disappointments, whether that's financially, your career, relationship, something like that. Like you're getting over it and you're, you're bossing up. The Queen of Wands gets out of bed every day and she moves, she or he, moves forward and says, I got to get at it. Confident, taking action, but it's all around being patient with the Six of Pentacles. So again, giving your time and resources, but I also feel as though you're trying to manifest balance it feels very much like i've got a couple different you know accounts like a savings account a checking account i'm saving for something possibly for the summer moving money here moving money there and you're determined to do this while also being very patient um what's this three of swords influencing that came out in your foundation in the first spread i did so you've got the sun major conifer leo change happiness 
again, summer with the sun, it feels, um, you might be saving to go somewhere, somewhere warm this summer, something like that, y'all. And it's very much with the energy of, I can't focus on loss from the past. Whether, again, that's relationships or just not being able to, you know, pay for something that you really wanted. You're determined to get it. What happened in the recent past? Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, and the tower in reverse, avoiding. You're really, really focusing on creation, having the power, using the law of attraction, because that's what the magician does. The magician uses all his tools to create. But while you were doing this, you were also avoiding. I think a lot of y'all were avoiding relationships, friendships, everything and everyone because there seems to be so much determination and focus. Yeah, because the wheel of fortune in reverse. Something didn't go your way. Again, financially with the wheel of fortune in reverse, you felt a little bit stuck. So you're like, that's it. I'm closing myself off. I'm putting all my resources together. I am going to do this. But when it comes to relationships and anything extra, you guys were kind of just very, very focused. What's on your mind, Knight of Swords and the High Priestess, Pisces energy? Yeah, there's that determination because the Knight of Swords is in pursuit of something. Quickly, fast. Again, determination. He's got something to do, something to say. So on your mind with that high priestess is just being closed off. Might even be closed off to friends. I have to sneeze. Hold on. Wait, is it happening? <coughs> it happened. All right. Sorry. I know that was probably loud. That high priestess is, she's working her magic, right? But she's being very silent and closed off, quiet about where, what she's in pursuit of. Maybe there is a goal here and you're just not telling a lot of people. It's like nose to the grind and getting this done. What's the situation? It's all happening because of the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Again, travel. Who's traveling this summer or before? Put in the comment section. I want to know. And can I come? So, but also the Eight of Wands, very busy energy, right? It, Yes, it's communication, but it's also change, manifesting change. This is, my inbox is full. I'm texting. I'm, I'm calling. I'm working. Like, it's quick, fast movement with the wands action. And it has something to do where you're giving a service and you're receiving. Others of you, and it could be all of you, I do, see, I do feel somebody very, very attracted to you, focused on you. They might even reach out quite a bit. They want some sort of balanced connection here with you. But again, you're just so focused, you know, on something else that you just, you're going to have this Queen of Swords in reverse energy. What's this about? And judgment. Yeah, I got a big decision to make. Scorpio energy. Could be somebody that kind of keeps coming around and around. But with the Queen of Swords in reverse, you're like, nope, sorry. That Queen of Swords in reverse is not only icy and cold, but she'll tell you to F off. She's too busy to talk. See you later. Leave a sticky note and I'll get back to you when I can. She's been burned. This feels very much like, God, I've been burned in love or friendships or family members, whatever. Like everybody can F off. I've got focus here. I've got determination and I'm getting there. Judgment is a really important decision or choice, but it's also taking stock. You know, I don't get that, you know, that Queen of Swords in reverse can be scorned or resentful. I don't really feel like you are, though, Aries. I think you're just making the decision coming into the near future to just kind of cut everybody off. That's just what it feels like. How do you see yourself right now? The moon, Cancer, Pisces, damn, and the Five of Swords. Yep, there is that energy of you don't like that I cut you. Sorry, this is about me right now. And with the moon... You know, that's, again, very closed off energy. You're not really opening up to anybody. You're keeping stuff to yourself. You're being closed off while also being extremely intuitive. But with the Five of Swords, he becomes a third swordsman, you know? It can be cutting, nasty, kind of me, 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 me energy. But it can also just be the energy of, sorry, I don't have time. I, you know, I think this is a month where... Actually, you don't really apologize for being in this energy. You've got places to go, things to do, and a world to build. What's in your environment coming in? You don't see. You've got the Nine of Swords with Justice, Libra Energy. 
choices again and decisions fair and balanced the justice he's raising up that sword in order to even the scales in his life you're going to be working late you're going to be doing stuff late night you're not going to get a lot of sleep you also have somebody in your environment who's worried because maybe you're not giving them a lot of attention or time and with justice they're like hey what's up i got something to say too what's justice Strength card, Leo, hold him back. You also have somebody, again, it could be a friend or love or whatever this is. They're going to be kind of patiently waiting for the right time. I think this person does get it, though. You know, it's not like a complete a-hole. I think they get the fact that you've got goals that you're working on throughout this month and you just don't have a lot of time for them. But don't get it wrong. You know, somebody here certainly wants to be all up in your energy. What's going on in your feels, Two of Pentacles, with the Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're tired of the jugglers, that's for sure, when it comes to love. That Page of Swords can be a little bit angry, but you know, when you feel the Page of Swords, you want to know more. Curiosity, right? And it has to do with that Two of Pentacles. Some of you are really, really are, you're working a couple jobs or you have something on the side where you're saving money and you're thinking about either investing or opening up another account or something purely for savings to get to that, you know, goal that you have. Because the Page of Swords, again, he is a student of the deck. He wants to know more. He's trying to learn. What's this Page of Swords? Too many cards fell out. What's this Page of Swords in Aries Emotions? With that Two of Pentacles. What is it? The lovers. That peeked out at me before, too. Gemini energy. Choices and decisions. This is all about Aries using logic this month. Yeah, I'd be really nice to like hang out with you and be with you and stuff, but mm, I got things to do. The lovers making a choice or a decision. It's a month of people reaching out to you a lot. Again, you know, whether that is romantically or just friendships and that kind of thing, and you emotionally being like, I have things to do. I can't do that tonight or today. Go buy your own Pop-Tart. I'm busy. What's the outcome? You've got a three of wands in reverse. Why is this your outcome? Three of wands in reverse with the star. Yeah, because there you are manifesting. Somebody ships don't come in. You're turning your back. Because listen, you've got with the star... Aquarius energy, this is manifesting. Whatever you're, move, you're going towards, some of you are just saving for something big. Again, I think for some of you, it's to travel or take a trip at some point here in the next few months. But with the star, it's happening. But why are we turning our back on something? Three of Wands. Relationships, friends, neighbors, pets, whatever it is. I, you know, I can't do this right now because I'm manifesting something I really want. That star is setting your sights on something. I do think that um, relationships, I, again, I, I feel like it's a very understanding energy. You'll hear from this person or people from time to time throughout the month. But your energy is coming across with that Queen of Wands so strong. Boss bitch. Boss, boss guy. Taking action, feeling confident, and really, really building a lot of stability and focusing on what you have in sight the star is i can see it there it is i'm manifesting i'm i i know it's going to happen and it does happen but as a result you end up turning your back or just not putting a lot of passion or taking action towards people yeah two of swords at the bottom of the deck libra energy ignoring if you're connecting with um, an Aries, y'all, don't take it personally. Aries has goals this month, big goals, and they're determined to get there. It's very fiery energy. It's very Aries. What else? What else? Yep. Oh, hi. Okay. I felt like I needed to pull another card, and I'm glad I did because there's the boss, Emperor, Aries, Major Arcana. He's a business owner. But he's also overcoming obstacles. And for some of you, the obstacle is you just couldn't quite get there for something that you really wanted. Again, I think it's on the financial side. And with the emperor in the upper, now he's able to overcome those obstacles. He's regaining control, but also that emperor energy, he's setting boundaries. This is a month of setting boundaries so you can get to that star energy. <clears throat> and again, people are going to have to just understand 
And I think for the most part, they will. It's a nice month. I like it. Oh, bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. There it is. There is that huge lump sum of money, a bonus, a payout, property, a move, a home, whatever this is. It's a lot. It's a lot of potential. And, you know, it gets you to that star energy with that Ten of Pentacles. I like it. Again, some of you guys towards the end of the month will receive some sort of lump sum of money, a payout, or that savings account is growing, 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 and it will last for a very long time, a lot of stability, and it will then enable you to reach that star energy, whatever that is for you. Very determined, very strong, very powerful month of April. All right, let's head over to the extended. We'll see the person on your mind how they feel about you, what you can expect. Where does that end up? We're gonna find out. All right, I would appreciate a thumbs up, comment on the reading, and subscribe if you haven't already, if you would like to, that would be great. Other than that, I am loving you hard, love me hard back, and we will speak soon. Take care.